everyone, I, I want everyone to really remember that what we're doing individually affects the collective unifying consciousness, okay? Because that's where our consciousness comes from, is that, that one universal consciousness, right? So that's why it's important to hold ourselves accountable individually and to be responsible and to be uh, noble and to be uh, honorable and to just do what we know is best for ourselves and what's best for everyone else, right? So we've talked about how we can't, we cannot serve others until we've done service to ourselves, right? We have to do our own internal, personal self-care and, and really do our reflection, our inner reflection work, right? Because if we don't do that, we can't be of service to anything or anyone outside of ourselves. Okay, we can't work backwards. We have to work from the inside out and be proactive. Okay, we have to be productive. We have to have that mentality because it's all about the mind. Okay, and it's very, it gets deep. Okay, it gets really deep and our emotions are deep rooted. And when you're a super empath and you are, uh, or Heoka, or just an empath in general, and you have all these deep rooted emotions, you feel everything to your core, right? So deeply, and it can be a blessing and a curse. But here's where we can use our subconscious mind to our advantage so that we can become super conscious, okay? And to keep that momentum, all right? So once you get there, try to have this mentality too of, not looking back. You're not looking back, okay? That's back there in the past. You're no longer who you were yesterday. You were you were not even the same person you were this morning when you woke up, okay? You're an entirely different person. So staying present and in the here and in the now. Really have that tunnel vision and that focus right now, okay? And keep it. Keep that focus because the past is going to fade away and you're not you're not your mind and your being is going to get to a point to where you're not going to allow yourself to even worry about the future okay because you're going to be so honed in on the here and the present moment because you're in alignment right you've you've now stepped into your authentic self your sovereign true being who you're destined who you're now showing up as who you came here to be and who you are meant to wake up to realize who you are, right? So when you when that happens, everything else fades away. You don't care about what other people think about you. You don't care about the material things that could bring you happiness because you you begin to realize that there's you can't get your happiness outside of yourself. It's just it, it's not how it works, and that's how a lot of us lead our lives is constantly looking for f complete fulfillment and, and happiness and um, all of these tangible things to bring us this, to fill these voids and to, to bring us this fullness that we're so desperately searching for, okay? But when you realize and you wake up and you see that you have to turn your lens inward, you have to break everything down, rebuild that foundation, right? Um, and, and that helps wake you up to who you are. And we're energetic beings. We are made of energy. Everything is energy. We have to keep this in mind and, and be mindful of it because this is where our chakras come into play. So depending on how much trauma, emotional, uh, mental um, trauma that has happened, you have a lot of blockages, okay? within your energetic being. And we have these balls of energy within our spine, right? And the three bottom ones is where we're rooted within our, our energetic field as a being. So for someone who is, you know, ha has come from complete upheaval or um, just a traumatic situation over the course of a long period of time, right? You're, you've been in this survival mode for way too long 
our, our bodies aren't meant to feel like that for extended periods of time, okay? So that's where we we get in this, this fight or flight mode to where it's just simply not healthy anymore, but you're, you just become so accustomed to this feeling, right? So we, we find ways to cope and we find ways to make excuses for fixing it and all of these things roll in and that's where it leads us to our, our, our rock bottom, right? So everyone has a different blueprint, right? Everyone has a different soul path. And it's really important to remember that this is a, a process and a journey. It's meant to be enjoyed, okay? Even the hard times the difficult situations that you find yourself in that either are the cycles once it's all about perspective i can't say that enough it's about your perception and how you choose to view your world how are you choosing to feel these experiences that happen to you and these emotions that they bring are you becoming the emotions or are you letting the emotions pass through you because that makes a huge difference what are you choosing okay and back to obeying yourself and and listening to yourself. You're the only one that knows, okay? You're the only one that hears these little voices in your head, right? When, and you know that you're either supposed to be dropping these habits or making these environmental changes or these successful, you know, career path changes. When it comes to our dharma, once you peel back your layers, you step into your dharma and, and you're, you begin to now follow your heart's passion and why you came here. And the feeling of that and knowing that you're on your life path pretty much because that's as starseeds and as um, indigo children and everyone who is of that you know category that's why we're here we're meant to wake up to who we are we chose this life we chose to incarnate and to live the path and live the life that we've lived thus far to get to this point to be on earth right now at this point in this timeline okay because the power that we hold within our energetic being is so amazing and and so powerful and out of this universe because it brings you into synchronicity okay when you're in sync with yourself you're in sync with your energetic being right and and the earth is a living being it's alive mother earth the plants the trees the animals everything is in synchronicity so when you can match that you're now in sync with the whole universe, okay? And you can begin to become a, a co-conscious creator with your universe because you are the universe. And when you're able to literally wake up to that and realize that, you can bring anything to life, okay? So stay persistent and never stop believing. As cliche as people want to say it sounds, I love it because if you can believe, you can do anything. You seriously can. If you have that emotion and the intention behind, and that momentum behind that emotion, that feeling, and you're emitting that out energetically into the matrix, into the universe, into the world, whatever, what have you, <laughs> um, that's that's where it is it's where it's at and so that's why self mastery if you can master yourself you don't need anything else and I'm talking like physically tangible things outside of yourself you, you don't have any desire for any of that stuff to bring you happiness because you you're whole you're you're an you're, you come into alignment with your infinite consciousness. So, um, 
love. It brings you into this universal love energy that you are you're now open to. And once you reach that in the ascension process, you're there to stay. So um, yeah, I just wanted to hop on here. I'm sorry if I kind of rambled a little bit, but I just wanted to make a video because I felt really compelled to share some of that stuff with you guys. And feel free on the comments below to leave suggestions on what it is that you guys are wanting to hear about or advice or wisdom or thoughts, anything that you want me to talk about. I would love that because I get a little overwhelmed when I try to figure out what it is I want to talk about because there's so much. So if there's like specific things that people really want to hear about, I would love to hear that and to get that feedback. So I hope you guys have a great night and I will talk to you all later.